3, 2, 1, go. A ver cómo está el sonido. Está bien así, supongo. No estoy ni muy fuerte ni muy floja. Wow, ahí vamos. Importante pantalla completa, chicos, para leer lo que dice. Oh, Dios mío. Es una hora de peli, ¿eh? Así que... Oh, oh, oh. Fuiste advertido. ¿Cómo está el audio? Espero que esté bien, que no esté demasiado fuerte. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Most of you have definitely heard about this famous place. Todos concentrados y disfrutando, chicos. Some say that several kids have disappeared in that place, and now their souls exist in the bodies of the animatronics. While others say that many people have mysteriously died in its walls, and no one can explain those deaths. And some think that this place is simply cursed. With each year. More of these stories are being spread and told. But is there any truth behind them? Well, if you want to find an answer to this question, we will have to travel back in time to the year 1987. That same year, when almost in every newspaper could be found an article about some strange incident titled Bite of 87. El mordisco del 87, Animatowners. Ahí empieza la peli. Estaba preguntando una cosa a la cosa y a ver si se escuchaba bien. Creo que sí. Si no, avisadme, pero yo se escucha bien. Empieza la acción. Me encanta, eh. Os recuerdo que podéis salir gratuitamente descargando juegos para el celular también con el super chat. Un abrazo a los 20.000. Acaban de llegar La policía Los protagonistas De la peli <risa> Interferencias, eh Uy, las risitas Wow, 1987. Vamos a ver, chicos, el mordisco del 87. Saludos, Edu. Muchas gracias. A ver, me está diciendo que esto tengo demasiadas cosas. Saludo Tomás. Muchas gracias por tu aportación. No voy a hablar mucho tampoco, ¿eh? voy a estar atento a la película. Esto es como ir al cine. ¿eh? <ríe> Para no molestar demasiado a las personas que estoy viéndola. Madre mía, está súper siniestro el sitio. <coughs> está todo, eh, ahí está Wither Bonnie Oh, las risas Super siniestras Wither Chica Oh my god Aquí salía parda, eh el mordisco del 87 está a punto de suceder. Oh my god, ahí está el ataque. Uh, Golden Freddy, ¿no? Da a entender que ha sido Golden Freddy quien le ha pegado el bocado. Dios, 
¡Qué miedo! ¡Oh! ¡Madre mía! ¿Qué haríais, chicos, si os pasa eso? Las balas no valen Todos muertos Fijaos ahí Al fondo se ven los niños ¿Lo veis? Five Nights at Freddy's La película ¡Uh! Vamos allá Linda's History Va por fases, ¿vale? La historia de Linda Es el principio Mira, Papet Papet es muy importante Mantenga <coughs> completa, chicos, para leer bien But despite their efforts, the police were still unable to find any information about the missing children. Ahí están los nombres. And then one day, <coughs> three strangers who were driven by the same desire to uncover the truth decided to start their own investigation. It was hard to say. Was it a coincidence or was it intended by fate? But on the same day, in the same place. These three strangers <coughs> met each other. Huh. And that place was the pizzeria from where the children were kidnapped. La pizzería donde fueron secuestrados todos los niños. Ahí veo a la gente viendo la película en la tele muy bien. By the name Brian Clark, the person who couldn't just witness the unsuccessful work of his colleagues and decided to start his own investigation off the book. Vale. Another stranger was a private detective by the name Jeremy Fitzgerald. Oh, Jeremy Fitzgerald. ¿O suena? Who was hired by a mother of Jeremy. Ese no era el mordisco entonces, el mordisco no fue a Jeremy En principio And the last stranger was me, Linda Jones Linda Jones A reporter from Arkham Advertiser The person who was planning, no matter what To discover the truth And find the missing kids <coughs> And also, to find out what really happened To my colleague and good friend, Ben Richard Who was brutally murdered while working wow, this Ben fue asesinado También hay chicos algunos easter eggs del canal, eh A ver si os encontráis en la película Se parecía a Germán, eh, cuando se rapó Oh my god por ejemplo, el baúl donde está Papel, ¿no? ¡Oh, my God! Uh -huh. Hugo Eduardo, bienvenido a la familia de Matauner. Un abrazo enorme. While being undercover, he was working as a day shift security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria <laughs> and was providing us with security information. Our target was the owner of the pizzeria, Daniel Smith, or rather to say, his office. Based on Vincent's information, there was a secret room located in that office. La habitación secreta de la oficina. We were expecting to find the missing children, or at least some information about them. To get in that secret room, you had first to press a hidden button beneath Daniel's table. That would set off a mechanism, which would open a way to the locked door. A key to that locked door was always with Daniel Smith on his neck. Yet, that was not a big problem for us, as almost every lock could be easily broken. And luckily, I was a specialist in Ah, era su especialidad. Abrir puertas. As for Daniel Smith himself, 
Not much was known about him. Only that a few years back, he inherited the family business from his father after he died. Vale. Daniel Smith also had a younger brother. Oh, uh, el hermano, el hermano más joven, Fred Smith, que está justamente vestido de morado. And nobody had seen him since then. Y desapareció. According to Brian's words, Daniel Smith was a true evil in the flesh, the person who we should all be afraid of. Oh my God. to interrogate him several times in the past and based on his words never in his life has he seen such an evil and dangerous look as he witnessed in Daniel Smith's eyes Madre mía. Daniel Smith was not our main problem something else created by him was causing huh. a bigger threat to us and los animatrónicos we were not able to simply break into the pizzeria in the middle of the night. Es impresionante, eh? Me encanta el trabajo que ha hecho este hombre. How Daniel Smith was able to create those animatronics and make them freely move around the pizzeria during the night. But in case they saw someone, they would immediately attack him. Due to that, one thing was obvious. Getting in there during a night without any help from inside would be too dangerous. But we quickly managed to find a solution to this problem. Through the entire week, every night, we were actively making diversions near the pizzeria. And those kind of actions eventually would achieve their goal. As it forced Daniel Smith to hire a night shift security guard to look after the pizzeria and straight away inform him if anything happens. And thanks to our efforts, Jeremy was hired to this position as a night shift security guard. Mm -hmm. Yet even though we now ¿Os suena de algo? Final Fantasy Freddy's. Still, El juego. Getting into Daniel Smith's office. Jeremy era not to be. El guardia de seguridad. <coughs> Starting on the first night, everything went not according to plan. Jeremy said that it was too dangerous for me to get inside of the building as he still could not understand how exactly those animatronics were moving around the pizzeria and with what time frame. Estaba infiltrado trabajando y así ayudaba. Well, there's one way to find out. Hey Jeremy, are you still alive down there? Of course. Do you already expect me to die soon? <coughs> who knows, who knows. So, how are things down there? Well, right now, I look at the monitors, drink coffee, and play with the mask of a... Ha. I think it's a bear. La máscara para protegerse. The mask of the bear? Para confundir a los animatrónicos. If those animatronics see me, I have to put it on straight away, since then they will consider me... Final Freddy's 2, chicos. Recordad que la línea temporal está cambiada. Final Freddy's 1 es después de Final Freddy's 2. What do you think? Will we find those five missing kids in there? I hope. And by the way, there were actually six of them. Six? Yes, the Golden. It's Golden Freddy. It's quite old and very complicated case. Oh, Puppet. Way before me. All I know is that that Mr. Se basa en Puppet, quizá. How to say this properly? He was not mentally healthy, and due to that, almost zero information was presented to the public. That is weird. I had done some research before, but haven't seen anything about the sixth one. This is strange. Trust me, I know the feeling. But we live in Arkham, and here, strange things are common. But don't worry, I bet soon we will find those kids or at least some information about their fate. We just need to get into that room. We will. That's the spirit. Bueno, de momento no pueden entrar porque... No es el momento. Thank you for your advice, Vincent. I'll be sure to do so. Ah, el tipo okay, del teléfono, ¿no? let's see. What's going on now? <laughs> Está usando las cámaras, eh, Jeremy. <laughs> ¿Te se ha movido alguno? 
¿Te va a hacer falta esa máscara? Uf, en Final Fantasy II pasan muchas cosas, acordaos. El primero en llegar siempre era Toy Bonnie. Pero la máscara te salvaba. ¡Ay, Dios mío! Oh my god. Tremendo. Turned out, Daniel Smith was not lying. And the mascot mask did help. But as we soon find out, que no ayudaba, ¿cómo que no? Something else in that pizzeria which would not be fooled by that mask. Papet. On the second night, things went smoother. No sé dos. Able to sneak in. Yet, as soon as I got in, new obstacles appeared in my way. Despite the fact that Jeremy was assured that he accurately learned the behavior and movement routes of those animatronics, as soon as I got in, they all began a targeted hunt for me. Uff. Es que se metió ella, eh? Qué mal rollo. Esto es un poco en primera persona, chicos, como si estuviésemos allí en la pizzería de 1987. Con los animatrónicos Toy. Dios. ¡Uh! Ya están siguiéndola. Oh my god. Qué mal rollo. Hello, hi. Dios. Corre, corre, corre. Soy chica. Al baño. Oh, mande. Qué mal rollo, eh. Ahí están los wizards. ¿Estás segura de meterte ahí dentro? Yeah, I am fine. Oh, Wither's chica. Los Wither's dan más miedo, eh. Oh. Madre mía, tío. Uh. It is impossible to convey the shock I felt when I saw them. I was certain that I was doomed. Yet to my surprise, they stayed motionless. For more than three hours, I had to be in that room with them, all the time staring at their terrifying appearance, while being afraid to look away, and at the same time hearing constant footsteps behind the door. Por papel, ¿no? Papel les dijo que no matase. No matéis. Es buena. Imagine how I didn't lose my mind that night. In the end, when it all went quiet, Jeremy helped me to get out from that horrible room. Foxy, As later on, we find out from Vincent, those were the old models of animatronics from sí, the previous models antiguos. who were kept here for spare parts. Parts and service. Oh my God! But they have life. Uh, ven lo de guardia de seguridad y eso es lo que no les gusta. Les recuerda algo, chicos. In the end, I was still not able to reach Daniel Smith's office. But at least now I had some knowledge of what to expect from this place. At least I believed so. But I was wrong. Hmm. As on the third night, we had faced new and more serious problems. Más problemas en la noche 3. Just wait for my signal and then rush towards the door next to you. Okay. Ready? Steady? And Oh my god. Un saludo Hugo Eduardo. <ríe> Qué miedo dice. Sí da miedo, sí. O 
Está emocionante, ¿eh? La máscara, acordaos de que con algunos no funcionaba. Freddy. Wither Frey. Saludo, Erika. Muchas gracias. No me diga. Ahí está Puppet. Ahí está Puppet. Oh my god. Todos los Wizards y Puppet. O sea, los originales. Oh. Pues parece que les da igual la máscara, ¿eh? ¿Qué va a pasar? No me acuerdo. Uh. Justo se hicieron las seis. <risa> A eso le llamo yo tener suerte, ¿eh? Uf. Pero justo, justo, justo. Madre mía. Casi lo matan al pobre. Hey guys, what's going on down there? Do you need my help? No, it is better for you to stay in the car and make sure that we don't have any unexpected visitors. I'll try to find out what is going on down there on my own. Madre mía, van tarde otra vez. Pero son las seis ya, ¿no? Se supone. Oh my god. Cuando se hacen las seis se van. Cada uno a su sitio, supongo. Uy, la detectó. Se mete en su mente, creo yo, ¿eh? Ah, o sea, son flashes. Son flashes de lo que ocurrió. It is hard to describe what we witnessed that night. Was it just a malfunction? Or something else that made the older versions of the animatronics start a hunt for us. Based on Vincent's words, there was no way old animatronics could be activated as there was not a power source in them. Yet, no tenían energía, se supone. We're certain in what we witnessed that night. And those visions of the girl. She was among the missing kids. What was really going oh. on in that pizzeria? Ella es Puppet? Yet, despite no. all the difficulties ah, sí, sí. Years, we were still not planning to give up. But on the fourth night, things went even worse. Noche 4. The Finance of Freddy's 2 en la peli. Ya el poster. ¡Eh! ¡Tengo que emplearlo por ahí! ¿Habéis visto? Un cuadro del canal. Me gusta. <risa> Justamente el banner que me he vuelto a poner. En el canal. Dios. Jeremy, how are you there? More or less fine. Those things are trying to break inside, but I managed to hold them off. Hold on there. I'll try to distract them. I think there's no need in that. I managed to build a small barricade here, so it should withstand. You better try to get to Daniel's office. Okay. Oh my gatito. Hola, tiene la papeta al lado. Vale, Papete es la niña esta, ¿vale? 
Y esto es lo que pasó, son flashbacks Son los recuerdos de lo que el hombre morado Les hizo, chicos Vale, y se van Están intentando pedir ayuda Le piden ayuda a ella Linda Jones. We did manage to survive that night, physically. As for our mental condition, <laughs> well, here everything was worse. It was already hard to understand what was real and what was just a trick of our imaginations. For some reason, animatronics in pizzeria were acting differently. Sí, han cambiado, ¿no? Era como que. Those who were models were simply wandering in the pizzeria at night. And only tried to attack when they noticed a human. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Well, older versions of animatronics were purposefully trying to get to Jeremy, and it seemed that only he was interesting to them. Hmm. This all had something to do with that weird-looking animatronic in the form of a puppet, who was definitely in charge of the others, and those visions that it showed me. In all of them. I have seen a missing girl by the name Elsa. That same girl whose mother hired Jeremy to find her. Oh. All of this was so confusing. But on the other hand, there were five missing kids, and the same amount of animatronics right now were trying to get to Jeremy. What if? But that would then mean. Is she No. no. Estaban muertos. Claro. Las almas. Las almas de los niños, chicos. La quinta noche estaba a punto de llegar. Ayuda, ¿eh? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ha llegado alguien. El hombre morado. Oh, my God. Se complica la peli. Saludos Melanie, muchas gracias. Most likely I won't be able to get out of this one. Buah, Jeremy está ya, el pobre. Straight away. Go to the office of Daniel Smith and finish what we started. What? No, I am not leaving you. Listen to me, don't worry. Just use the Charlie, un saludo. you have right now and finish this. This is the most right and important thing to do right now. Pobrecillo. I'm sure you understand that. And tell Elsa's mother that I did the best I could to find her daughter. Jeremy? Jeremy. Y Jeremy, entonces sí que es el del mordisco del 87. Y va al hospital. Después de eso. Oh my god. Uh. Ha llegado justo. Oh, no como llora. So please stop this. We are on the same side. Ahí para. Uf, madre mía. Hard to believe this, but sadly, my theories turned out to be true. 
Those were souls of the missing kids in the animatronics. Ay, mira los otros. And not only did they allow us to go, but also helped us in clearing the path to Daniel Smith's ja, office. Se cargaron a los toys. La habitación secreta, chicos. Un abrazo a los 30.000 animatowners que estáis conmigo aquí en el directo. Madre mía, qué cuadro, eh, qué foto. Da miedo. Estamos más o menos, chicos, a mitad de película, ¿vale? Más o menos estamos justo en la mitad. ¡Oh, my God! ¡Uf! ¡Madre mía! Inesperado. Linda, ¿estás bien? Sí, estoy bien. ¿Cómo en el mundo se ha ido aquí? ¿Qué? ¿Otra puerta? ¿Por qué no ha dicho nada sobre nosotros? No tengo idea. Mira, él todavía está vivo. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? Mira, mira, ahí estamos atrás, ¿lo veis? El cuadro. <risa> oh, llamó a la policía. Jeremy, grab the key from his neck and open the door. I'll press the button beneath the table in the meantime. All right. What? No. What are you doing? Stop. I... Está bien doblado, ¿eh? Realmente. Uf. Ahí está Golden, creo. Please, please, stop until it's too late. You have no idea what you're doing. Stop. Right. No, you have to stop. I beg you. If you need money, they're, they're take from the table. Just do not open the door. Oh, el peligro está ahí dentro. When you are so confident in the rightness of your actions. That not even for a second do you consider the option that you might be wrong. And this kind of blindness sometimes might lead to a very tragic turn of events. Hmm. Alright, let's see. What's hidden behind this door? Linda, it's better for you to stay here and keep an eye on Daniel, just in case. As you say. Bueno, a ver qué es lo que se esconde ahí. Está Golden, que yo recuerde. Creo que estaba Golden, ¿eh? Chicos, os recuerdo que si no estáis suscritos al canal, os agradecería mucho que os suscribieseis. Tocando el botoncito de abajo, te pone suscribirse, ¿eh? Muchas gracias. No. Está Golden. La caja. De momento. Oh my god, ahí está. Oh. Madre mía. Ese es el mordisco entonces, ¿no? Del 87 Sí, 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 sí que es Oh my god ¿Os acordáis, no? Que sobrevivió a pesar de eso Un 
muchas gracias a la gente que se está suscribiendo Bienvenidos al canal, un abrazo enorme Gracias ¡Oh! Acabamos de liberar a la bestia, ¿no? Oh, oh. Ahí llega Papet Y lo para El hombre molado, eh Rehuye. Ah, no sabía. Puppet versus Golden Freddy. Ya. Puede volar. Está jugando con él. Lo está controlando. Ahora somos muchos. Vamos, Foxy. Es mi favorito. Está rodeado, eh. Está rodeado. ¿Y ahora qué? Oh, oh. A ver si lo convencen. Dios. Super batalla. Esa era Foxy, ¿no? Dime que han vencido, por favor. No puede haber ganado él, ¿no? Oh, Jeremy está con el mordisco. Dios. Él sobrevive, ¿eh? Jeremy sobrevive, pero muy mal. El hermano de él es el hombre morado. Why did my younger brothers have to follow the footsteps of our father? Brothers? What are you talking about? You only have one brother. There is also a stepbrother. The one that used to always clean after Fritz. Huh. Dios. ¿De verdad ha ganado Golden Freddy? Listen to me. We have to try and stop him before he gets outside. Otherwise... El fuego Hay que quemar todo Molotov Madre mía, ¿eh? La única solución, chicos, es que todo arda. No es fácil. Solo él podría parar a mis hermanos de entrar en La caja misteriosa. ¿Se acuerdan que salían Final Fantasy Freddy's 4? Hurry up. Until more innocent people die. I'll look after your friend, and as soon as you return, I give you my word, I'll answer all of your questions. Okay. Oh, Dios mío, Foxy, no! Mató a Foxy, a Nimatowners Y a un policía, por lo que estoy viendo Y a Freddy ¿Pudo con todos? ¿Vas en serio? 
Qué mal. Madre mía. Está emocionante la película, ¿eh? ¿Qué pasará al final? Tiene pinta de ser fortísimo, ¿eh? Si ni Foxy ha podido con él. Dios mío, está ahí. Este, 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 este ahí. Sigue para atrás, ¿eh? Wow. Se puede meter en la mente, ¿eh? De alguna forma. Es el sexto niño. Ahí va. Lo quemó. Uf. Creo que era la única solución, ¿eh? Oh my god. Esto ya no me suena, ¿eh? Todo esto para mí es nuevo, totalmente. El sonido. Dice, la chica está yo. Pero Foxy murió. Y Freddy también. ¿Y Bonnie? Se va a quemar toda la pizzería, ¿eh? Solo quedó chica y papet. No, el hombre morado. El hombre morado, me parece que es, ¿eh? I should have known that you and Fritz were behind all of this. You madmen. You both should be locked in Arkham Asylum. Oh, Linda, please be so kind to wait for a moment. I have to end something. Oh, Dios. Daniel? El compañero, supuesto compañero? But don't worry. I know how to fix that. Oh, my God. El compañero estaba metido también en todo esto. Oh oh. Linda, I'm so glad to see that you're alive. Why? So you could kill me yourself? What? I would never hurt you. Yet I cannot say the same about my younger brother. Oh, el hombre morado. ¿Qué le ha hecho? ¿Le clavó un cuchillo? ¡Es el hombre morado, chicos! ¡El hombre morado! Sí, 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 le clavó el cuchillo. No, tío. ¡Ostras! Se parece a Jill Valentine, ¿eh? Pero sí, en Evil. Madre mía. Maldito asesino. Él mató a todos los niños, chicos. No te preocupes. You're just paralyzed. I just, I couldn't let you go before I confessed to something. Ah, era, es un paralizante o algo así. I was too honest with you because when we first met, I was planning to kill you. But then Jeremy showed up and ruined all of my plans. Hmm. Yet, as it turned out, it was all for the best. Un traidor, eh? Who would have thought that you and Jeremy not only would help us to get into that hidden room, but would also help us to get rid of our older brother, find the scapegoat, and what is most important, to get rich. Just so you know, La this caja. place is insured, and you've just set it on fire. 
funny. You're just like your colleague, Ben Richard. He also didn't know when to stop. And no matter what, was willing to get to the truth. But in the end, what have you both accomplished? You haven't changed anything. You didn't manage to save anyone. Your desire to learn the truth only got you killed. And nothing more. Yeah, well, anyway. I guess it's time to say goodbye. We have to leave this Va a tener un final tan triste, en serio? And also, I have to arrest Jeremy before he dies. As of now, he's responsible for kidnapping the kids, killing Daniel Smith. Ah, encima toda la culpa es de Jeremy, ¿no? Ahora. Genial. Oh my god. Las caras. Well, it's time for us to go. Goodbye, Linda. And don't get cold in there. Dios mío, chicos. Creo que no hay mucha solución, ¿eh? A ver cómo consigue salir de ahí. Ha sido engañada, pero con todo. Sí, estoy pensando lo mismo que tú. Me parece muy triste. ¿eh? Oh, bueno, en Final Fantasy Fedis es cuando digamos que descansan, por fin. No va a vivir, ella va a morir. Oh, qué triste. No puedo salvarla. Jolín. La pizzería se quema entera. Claro, pensar que realmente... La solución, digamos, el cuando descansan las almas ya es en Final a Freddy's 3, o sea, cuando es pinta. Bueno, realmente es en Final a Freddy's 1, ¿no? Al final de Final a Freddy's 1. Cuando se convierte ya en, en Spinta. El hombre morado. Who believed in good. Yet on that night, it was evil that it triumphed over good. And in that moment, when Linda's last breath left her body, also with it vanished all the kindness and trustfulness ah, se volvió mala. in Elsa. And Papa se volvió peor aún. came anger and cruelty. The events that happened after were merciless and blunt. Mira, los pinta. Ahí está. Hear about them from Elsa herself. And for us to have a full picture, let's travel back to that day when vale. Elsa and other children were kidnapped Mira, vamos a ver cuando los secuestraron. El hombre morado. Purple guy. Sister Location, venía por ahí. Vale, volvemos al pasado ahora, chicos, para ver el secuestro de los niños. Y el final, bueno, sabemos el final cuál es, ¿no? Sí que descansaron mucho después, pero descansaron. Porque al hombre morado lo metieron dentro. Lo obligaron a meterse dentro de Sprint Lab. Están cantando. <risa> Algo así sería, ¿eh? Freddy Fazbear Pizza. La chica sirviendo pizza. Foxy. Foxy the Pirate. Ahí está. El hombre morado. ¿No? ¿O es el otro? Creo que sea él, ¿eh? Ahí por arriba también Está un gameplay, ¿lo veis? Ok Buah, qué bonito, ¿eh? Esto fue lo que sucedió Aprovechando Dios uh. 
se la acaba de llevar, ¿eh? Se quiere ir, pero no puede. Están encerradísimos. Chica. ¿Cómo se esconden? Dios El hombre malo Oh, oh Madre mía, qué cuchillos tiene, eh? Oh my god Ahí le atrapó asesino Buah. ahí la mata claro sí la historia de Elsa cómo se convirtió en Puppet Siniestro. Uf. Sería una buena película de terror, eh, para los cines. I still remember that beautiful day when me and my mom came to this magical place. <risa> What a day it was. Fue con su madre. Y con las pinchitas. Joy and laughter were everywhere. Oh. It was the first time I saw Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy. Mm -hmm. Oh, how miraculous it all was. And then you should. Ha, el hombre morado. True evil in the flesh. The cunning devil who kidnapped me and many others. Dios. Él se disfrazaba de animatrónico, se ponía en traje. El hombre morado. The purple guy. Oh my god. Pizzeria's playroom. That was the place where you kidnapped us. Donde jugaban los niños, la zona de juegos. I always knew that people were searching for us. For days and nights we were screaming and calling for help. Help us! Help! No se escuchaba nada, estaban encerrados ahí. Nada. Hoping that someone would hear us. Jole. Detrás del cartel. And help never came. Qué mal. However, I didn't lose hope as I believed sin pelo. that I would get out, no matter what. And bueno. then, one day, no salió como una persona, salió como un muñeco. Ah, no, no. 
and Salieron. we managed to escape. Yet our freedom didn't last for long. Jolín. As it was all just a part of your sick plan. Ah, estaba todo planeado. While you were calmly pursuing and capturing us. Y mató a todos los niños que luego se convirtieron en Foxy, Freddy, Puppet, Bonnie y Chica. Bueno, ahí no la ha matado. Y cuando todos los otros niños perdieron su esperanza y no estaba planeando dejar. Anger y hatred filled mi soul towards you, because of everything you had done to us. I knew that I would get out of this room and get my revenge, no matter the cost. Hmm. My soul will not rest until you receive your deserved retribution. Hours turned to days, days turned to months, months turned to years. Madre mía. Pasaron los años, sí. We did not manage to escape, and no one rescued us. My body has been long dead, but oh. my soul was still alive. Se quedó dentro. The soul which was now driven by only one desire. Revenge. Oh my God. Hasta papel da miedo, eh? <laughs> And I was not alone. Ahí están todos. Through decades, our souls tried to get me. But you always managed to escape. There were a lot of deaths during this time. Some caused by your actions. And some by ours. Hmm. Because of you, we became monsters ourselves. <laughs> Fase feliz uno. Monsters who brought horror wow, and death. Bueno. <laughs> Se convirtieron en monstruos. Yet with every year our powers got stronger, while you were getting older and weaker. And in the end, we managed to get you. Ahí está. Fine. You got what you deserve. You always used to y ahí descansaron. When you tortured and killed others. Now, when you face the death yourself, where is that smile? Hmm. No sonríes tanto, ¿eh? There is only fear and pain in your eyes. And while your body is bleeding out, and you are almost at the last breath, I finally feel that our souls can rest in peace. Exacto, ahí descansaron ya. Sus almas. We are free. As for you, your soul will never find peace. Wow, qué bueno, eh? Eternal torment and suffering awaits you. And the dungeon you created for others will become your prison from now on. Ahí se van. Se fue el alma de cada animatrónico. ¿Ese es Foxy o este es Bonnie? Foxy. Bonnie. Chica, mira cómo se va apagando las luces. Por eso, ¿os acordáis que había un, un final con las luces en los ojos y otro sin, sin las luces? Que era cuando ellos descansaban. Las almas ya se iban pues donde tenían que estar, ¿no? En el cielo. ¿A quién viene? 
Viene alguien. El de Final Fantasy Freddy. Ah, sí. Es el guardia de seguridad de Final Fantasy Freddy's 1. Eh, se me ha olvidado el nombre. Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Está a punto de acabar, chicos, la peli. Dios Y empieza Finals of Freddy's 3 Es con el Spring Trap Tengo un miedo Oh my gatito Creo que te va a asustar bastante A lo mejor no Creo que salíamos por aquí también, eh Algún easter egg del canal, me suena Dios Cuerpos calcinados Ahí estaba ella Se quedó así como medio momificada. <risa> Exacto. Pero lo que sucede es una completamente diferente historia que será contada a ti la próxima vez, desde Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. La siguiente es esta location. As for Elsa and other kidnapped children, their souls finally achieved peace and left the walls of Freddy Fazbear's wow. Pizzeria once and for all. Same happened with the soul of the sixth kid. El alma de Olden. Despite all that madness, anger and sadness that was living within him, he still managed to find peace and tranquility. In the end, it was Linda who helped him with that. Ah, al morir ella. Her soul now exists in the walls of burnt out pizzeria, waiting for someone who will be able to see and hear her. And it seems that finally, this day has come. Wow. But as it was told before, that is a story for the next time. Advertencia. Es un poquito peligroso, chicos. Mira que se escuche todo bien. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. La pizzería de Fernando Freddy es una vez más, querido espectador. Volvemos a las historias sobre este lugar. Poner la pantalla completa para leerlo todo bien. Esta es la película anterior. Si no la habéis visto, también está por el canal, chicos. We do know now what was hidden behind Bite of 87 incident. El morisco 87, eh? Souls were pursuing security guards in pizzeria walls. And what is most important, who so-called purple guy was. El hombre morado. And even though some answers were received, si lo puedo bajar, there are still so many mysteries left unattached. What was hidden in that mysterious chest? ¿Qué había en el cofre misterioso, es verdad? Eso es interesante. Well, my dear viewer, today the time has come to find answers. 
Wow, vamos a saber todas esas cosas, chicos. Se escucha bien, ¿verdad? Buah, estoy súper emocionado. Suena un teléfono. Si es todo es como esta botana y todo, ¿no? Supuesto refresco como yo. Emergencias. ¡Ay, lo del niño! Un montón de tiempo de trabajo este chico, ¿eh? Para hacer esta película. Esto es lo que vimos el otro día en exclusiva. El niño de Finance of Freddy's 4, chicos. Todo está muy oscuro. Policía de Arkham. Os recuerdo que los saludos van a ser al final, ¿vale? Todos los superchats y patrocinios al final de la película. Para no cortarle el rollo a la película. Muy importante eso, chicos. Podéis enviarlos, pero hasta el final no voy a saludar ni nada, ¿eh? Bueno, el descanso. Oh my gatito, no hay más chica. Esto lo vimos el otro día en el preview. Matan a todos los policías. Estos animatrónicos. <coughs> y claro, tendrá que ver con la historia que vamos a ver hoy de Sister Location. Oh my god. Bueno, se suponía que él estaba enfermo, ¿no? Daba a entender Foxy Cuidado con Foxy Diamond Foxy Wow. Dejar un poquitín la voz. Un poquito solo. Y a ponerme comodísimo. Ahí está, chicos. Final Fantasy Freddy Sister Location. La película. Estamos ahora mismo todos en el cine. Y te puede salir un anuncio. Oh, claro, es normal, es normal. Él también pone anuncios, tiene que vivir. Nos pueden salir. Un abrazo para todos, chicos y chicas, eh. Gracias. Para acompañarme a ver esto todos juntos. Lógicamente no lo he visto. Quería verla con vosotros. Yeah. 
A ver, yo cuando voy a ver una película al cine no hablo tanto, ¿eh? Pero como estamos en directo, pues hablo un poquito. Pero intento no hablar demasiado para no cortar el rollo, ¿vale? I'm Ben Richards, reporter for the Arkham News. I was informed that you're ready to talk about the events that happened last night in a place called Fazbear's Fright. Is that right? Father Fright. Yes, I am, though I'm not so sure that you'll believe me. Que es el de Fernando Fedistes. My story, you'll think I've lost my mind and I should be locked in Arkham Asylum, but I don't care. One way or another, people should know the truth. Yeah, before I start. Give me your word that you'll print everything as I've told you, word by word, despite the fact that some details you may find weird and unrealistic. Of course, Miss Scott, you have my word. You may begin. Yes, Lo va a grabar todo. I received a mysterious phone call from an unknown person to me. He introduced himself as Mr. William Afton. And told me that presumably he had information about the whereabouts of my partner, Jonathan Schmidt, who went missing two years ago. Isn't that the same Jonathan whose brother, I believe Mike Schmidt, got brutally murdered in the old Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria? Yes, that's him. Mike Smith, el hermano de Mike Smith. His brother Mike started working as a night shift security guard in Freddy's pizzeria. ¿De qué nos suena eso? For five days, he used to tell Jonathan that it seemed to him that animatronics that were in the pizzeria used to become alive during the night and were trying to get him. Of course, Jonathan used to think that Mike was just imagining things due to a lack of sleep. Yet, after the fifth night, a torn apart body of Mike was discovered in the night. It seemed that someone. Or something. El mordisco del 87, ¿no? Put Mike inside of one of the animatronic suits, which didn't have proper space for a human body. Wow. As for the animatronics themselves, they are motionless, standing on the stage. Han cambiado, ahí, eh? All covered in Mike's blood. Ahí está sangre. We did not manage to find any signs of someone breaking into the pizzeria. Neither were there found any malfunction signs in the animatronics. Only now I know the whole truth and what really happened that night. But soon, you shall understand everything yourself. After Mike's death, Jonathan became obsessed with the desire to find those who were responsible for this tragedy. Venganza. For days and nights, he was doing interrogations. Checking archives and gathering all possible information about Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, he became so close to himself and eventually fully isolated from others, including me. And then one day, he just disappeared. Desapareció. And in that moment, when I already lost any hope of finding him, I was contacted by Mr. William Afton, who said that. He knew where Jonathan was, based on his words. It was dangerous to have this conversation over the phone. I don't know. I have a list of the channel, eh? The movie. I asked to meet him in person, and even though it was too foolish and reckless from my side, I straight away went on this meeting. As far as I understand, something went wrong. Yes, you can say so. A ver, ¿qué es lo que salió mal, chicos? Acceso de seguridad. Hostia, están dentro. No connection, no internet. It seems that someone really doesn't want us to leave this place. Hey, bro, let's try to lift it up together. Están cerrados, eh? I don't think that will be possible. You'll only waste your strength. This door weighs about a ton. There's no way you can lift it, at least without proper tools. Well, in that case, we will have to find another way out of this place. Sounds like a good idea. 
when I arrived to the meeting spot, instead of un segundo, se habrá anunciado ahí. William Afton, I met a group of people unknown to me who were also invited here by Mr. Afton. But as soon as all of us gathered inside, without any warning, the main door closed behind us, therefore locking us inside. At the start, we thought that it was just some sort of joke or a spoof. At least we used to think so. Until, in a search for answers, we reached a security room. Whoever lured us here definitely wasn't planning to let us leave this place alive. Oh my god. There was also a message left on the wall. It stated that six of us would die that night. And starting from A los Sao, eh? Parece una película de Sao. One life would be taken away. This kind of threat, of course, sounded weird, considering that there were seven of us. And I was armed. Yet still, I decided that we should be on alert. Also, I had to find out who the other six people in the room with me were, and what connection did they have with William Afton and this place. Ostras, se pone emocionante, eh? May I have your attention, please? As we are stuck here for some time. Let's introduce ourselves to each other and tell how we ended up here. I'll start. This is muy sour. My name is Fiona Scott. I'm a detective from our Arkham Police Department. Today, I was contacted by Mr. William Afton, who promised to provide me with important information about one person who disappeared two years ago and was never seen since then. That's the reason why I'm here. Now, I want to know why are all of you here? Claro, para ver qué qué tienen en común, ¿no? Unos con otros. Hostia, se parece un montón a Alan Wake. Today, Mr. Afton was planning to share with me some details about mysterious murders that happened in this place many years ago. Yet it seems something went not according to the plan. By the way, my name's Ryan. Hmm, this is strange. I was also invited here by Mr. Afton. Based on his Todos, words, ¿no? in the old maintenance room, he had found a letter addressed to me from Joshua Smith. He was the founder of Freddy Fazbear's Restaurant and a good friend of mine. Joshua Smith, <coughs> didn't he die many years ago under mysterious circumstances? Joshua Smith, ostras, senar. Wow. So. My name is. Henry, by the Osta, van a ir allí, chicos. All of us talk about Mr. Afton. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Emma Green. What I do and where I work is none of your business. Let's just say I'm the person who has the power and the money. And today, yeah, we can definitely see that. Please do not interrupt me. Huh. As I was saying, today I was going to close down this place once and for all, and then that Fazbear's World theme park as well. I do this due to my personal reasons. I was supposed to meet here with my assistant Kevin so we could hand in the notice to Mr. Afton that this building will be closed and demolished. Yet instead of my assistant, I met all of you here. This is actually good since el que, this el el, el right sitio. now and definitely has called for help already. You sure don't like this place, madam. Well, my name is Nathan. I'm a mechanic. Mr. Es mecánico. Afton is a mechanic. And if it is possible, fix it. As for the glasses, I had a serious eye injury back in the days. I see. What about you two? Why are you here? All right. My name is Eva. I am a designer. William Afton hired me so I could help him to give a new look to this pizzeria, and that is why I am here today. I'm Max. I was hired by Mr. Afton to work as the night security guard. I was supposed to watch security cameras and make sure that no one is stealing anything. Hmm. Today is my first day here. Yet considering what happened to the previous security guard, I'm definitely not planning to work here. Have any of you actually seen Mr. Afton in person? No, I only talked with him over the phone. Same here. Todo por teléfono. <laughs> Same. That is the telephone. This Mr. Afton appeared out of nowhere and no one knows anything about him. 
Yet, somehow, he managed to become an owner of this place. Hmm. Does anyone know what happened to the previous owner of this place? His name was Fritz Smith. Disappeared a year ago, and there's been no information heard about him since. Yeah. This all sounds interesting. All these conspiracy theories. But maybe we should stop chatting and start searching for another way out. There definitely should be another exit. Since I really don't like this place. Oh, Dios mío. As soon as we get out. Oh my you God. Chat and have discussions about this place as much as you want. I agree. I feel really scared of this place. Not to mention that midnight is almost here. It's already midnight. Ya son las 12, eh? Ay, Dios mío, ese mini Foxy. I might know where we can find an additional exit. Tú sabes mucho, ¿no? Another restaurant here, right below this. Oh oh. ¿Qué viene? What the hell is that? Oh my god. All right, everyone stand behind me. Wow, suena peligrosísimo. <coughs> sí, <laughs> se parece a los siete niveles y sabo, es verdad. I always carry it with me just in case. There are reasons to that. Don't worry, detective lady, I got you covered. You've got you covered. <laughs> Madre mía, que va a venir, por Dios Sprinta Sprinta Wow Impresionante Dice un nombre. Pues si es un animatrónico, corre. Es el hombre morado. Además, que es más peligroso todavía. Los veo muy confiados, eh. Ese sprinter... ¡Eh, eh! Le han llamado, ¿eh? ¡Uy, susurros! ¡Susurros de la muerte! ¡Susurros! ¡Oh, my God! ¡No, a oscuras no! Yes, just a second. Josh. Oh. Fue por ella, eh. Y por eso acabó ahí. En el hospital. Porque Sprinta le pegó un buen golpe. Even our bare hands against it. But there was no effect. That thing was simply ignoring all damage it received. My from us. And then it grabbed Max, and in the split of a second. Oh! And then just turned and walked away with his body. I shot the whole mag in his back. I shot that thing in the legs, the back, head. But again, no effect. No hacía nada. Sprinter es prácticamente inmortal. Pero vamos a seguir los eventos en el correcto orden. 
As soon as that thing went away, lights went back up. Everyone was shocked and scared, including me. Yet, despite feeling fear, I knew that we had to get ourselves together and find a way out of this place as fast as possible before that creature returned again. Did you manage to figure out what attacked you? At that moment, no. There were a lot of theories and guesses, but all of them seemed weird and unrealistic, and some even crazy. So, what was it then? Not now. You'll understand everything yourself through my story. No se va a contar ahora. Se va a decir después. As soon as that creature left and we recovered from the shock, a decision was made to return back to the. Esta local de. Cameras were already working. Finding some Freddy's dance. So at least through them, we could get some understanding of what was going on around us. I propose we stop discussing what that thing was and start thinking on how to get out of here. Henry, I believe you mentioned something about a second exit from this place? Yes, at least I hope it still exists. In 87, there was a huge fire in this place. Lots of stuff was rebuilt after- We should check it out anyway, as I don't want to sit here and wait until that thing returns. We still have 45 minutes left. How are you so confident about it? Por las cámaras, ah no, por la hora Hasta las 6 6 morirá Es como que a cada hora A cada hora, a cada hora no A cada hora morirá uno Están contados I agree, yet it would be logical If someone stays here And through the cameras Tracks down the situation in this place Any volunteers? Even though the idea to separate is not the best one, it does sound wise. I'm ready to stay here, but not alone. Okay, no separarse. I'll also accompany you. It seems to me that we should stay here. Todos juntos, ¿no? Mejor. Rather than walking through those dark corridors. Madre mía. You sure are a brave person, Mr. Ryan. De verdad que si yo tuviese que estar ahí, lo pasaría fatal. With them, at least we shall be in contact. Good. All right then, Henry, lead the way. Haremos una pausa. Haremos una pausa en mitad de película, ¿vale? Os lo recuerdo. Más o menos en el minuto 45, 47. Y claro, yo también pensaba que él era más sospechoso, ¿no? Ah, vale, él lo construyó. As I told you before, Joshua Smith was a good friend of mine, and when he asked me to help him with the realization of his dream, I straight away agreed to do it. And that dream was to build the best pizza attraction in town hmm. to his beloved daughter, Anna. Yes. Yeah, I know. It might sound a little bit absurd, but si the location, after no? Joshua tragically lost his wife. Anna became his only source of. Bacala, la camiseta argentina. Even despite the fact that Joshua had two older sons as well by the name Fritz and Daniel, it's just seeing Anna's happy smile was the best cure to Joshua in handling those hard times. For a year, we were enthusiastically building his dream, while Joshua was dealing with construction tasks. I was creating first prototypes of the animatronics, which were expected to be the main feature of our pizzeria. Oh, and you should have seen how Anna was happy about it. And with her, Joshua, me, and the whole construction team, it seemed that Anna's happy smile could charge with positive energy almost anyone. Well, except for her brothers. For some reason, Fritz and Daniel we're not sharing that same happiness as everyone else did. Hmm. And then one day, that second tragedy in Joshua's life happened. It was hard to say, 
Were the children responsible for that? Or was it just an accident? But one morning, while playing hide and seek with her brothers, Anna Hostia. decided to hide inside one of oh. the animatronics. Se metió that model de was baby. still unfinished and springs inside wow. it were not stable. This new Dios. tragedy, well, I suppose you can imagine yourself what it did to Joshua. Straight away, he isolated himself from everyone, even his kids. He fired all the staff. And for days and nights, he used to stay locked inside of our unfinished pizzeria. Sometimes he was only seen in our local library, where he used to take books with a very strange and even terrifying content. Ah. This kind of behavior lasted for... And then one day, Joshua unexpectedly contacted me. He told me that he wanted to finish what we had started and open the pizzeria in Anna's memory. At the start, I was really happy to hear this kind of news as I thought Joshua... Hablamos de la pizzeria de System Location, eh? But things were not as simple as I had assumed. When I saw Joshua, straight away I noticed something. Yes, Madre mía. he was still that same looking Joshua, yet his eyes and the way he spoke it was very unlike him. What was also weird, he adopted a child by the name Brian, who seemed to be always near Joshua and almost never left him alone. And even though that boy was around eight or nine years old, Hola. he looked at you. You would feel straight away a Ese es el hombre molado cuando era un niño, ¿no? Once I was going to Joshua's office and overheard how he was having a conversation with someone or something. The voice that talked to him, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's just say it was hard to call it a human. While being driven by anxiety and curiosity, I went inside, and to my surprise, I only found Joshua and Brian there. Dios. The way they looked at me. Los ojos. Even now, I still see those eyes in my nightmares. With every day, the situation was getting worse. No longer was I feeling safe inside of the pizzeria. Right after Joshua, sí, él, eh? something joven. happened to his younger son, Fritz. He also changed, and now whenever he was staring at you, you felt the fear and danger of an evil presence. Also, for some reason, a lot of strange changes were made in the pizzeria's construction plans. Additional rooms, underground premises, and hidden chambers were added. Not to mention that Joshua asked me to make so many adjustments to the design of the animatronics. Some really strange adjustments. It was hard to say with what kind of intentions this pizzeria hmm. was being built, but definitely not for pleasure and fun as it was originally intended, and definitely not in the name of Anna. One day, I could no longer be a part of this madness, and I left, and I broke all ties with Joshua. Yes, you might think that I acted like a coward and left my friend alone in that nightmarish situation. But to be honest, that was no longer a person I used to know. There was someone else behind his face. And that you. letter, which was allegedly left to me by Joshua, I guess in some way I was hoping that it would explain at least a little bit what really happened to my friend. But anyway, here we are. This is the place. Ahí están. Pero claro, todo ya oxidado y hecho polvo, ¿no? Es cutulo, creo. Wow. O Se ha pasado mucho tiempo. Mira, el Ford Dead. He visto el juego de Ford Dead. Ha pasado mucho tiempo desde que. Desde Sister Location. principio. 
Are you sure that second exit is here? Yes, that door should lead to the old premises of the pizzeria. All right, let's go there then. Está super abandonadísimo, ¿eh? You go. I'll stay here and cover the exit. Está vigilando ella. Claro, el tema es, los animatónicos de System Location también siguen con vida, entre comillas. Van a ser peligrosos. ¡Ay, Dios! ¡Otra vez! El mini Foxy. Nos quiere ayudar. ¡Oh, my gatito! ¡Mira lo que mono! ¡No le dispare! ¡Es muy guay. No dispares. Mira. Es bueno, Animataunes. Dice, no me dispares, yo soy bueno, solo quiero un abrazo. Soy Foxy, ¿no se escucha la canción? Está saliendo un poquito de vapor. O sea, ha dado una pista, ¿vale? El mini Foxy. A ver. Is that what I think it is? Oh no, this is bad. We should leave this place as soon as possible. Vale, es un problema eso. Guys, I'm afraid I have bad news. Pobrecito, me querían matar. As it turned out, the second exit from the pizzeria was immured. Of course, it was foolish of us to expect that everything would be that easy. And although it might have seemed that we were doomed, Henry once again proposed a way out from this desperate situation. In that same room with the immured exit door was located an elevator, which led to the old maintenance rooms. Of course, there was no ascensor. power in it, but luckily we had a mechanic in our group who could fix it. <coughs> At the moment, we had two tasks before us. We had to activate power to the elevator and also eliminate the gas leak. As some of us already felt frustrations, head pains, and started seeing hallucinations, and it would only get worse. Wow, <laughs> Me, Emma, and Henry went to eliminate the gas leak. Well, gas. While Nathan, Ryan, and Eva went to deal with the electricity issue. Verdad que se parece un montón a Alan Wake. Ese personaje. Ryan, ¿cómo se llama? Be careful. We've been exposed to this gas for quite a while, so visual and auditory hallucinations might appear. I guess we're already old enough to distinguish what is real and what is a hallucination. Hmm. Ostras. Directamente a por ella. Olivia? Why did you leave me, Emma? Ostras. It is so cold and lonely in there. Jugando con las emociones de ella. Alguien que murió. Una niña. Oh. Wow. Emma, is everything all right? Oh my God. Mira. Habéis visto a Boris ya. Everything is fine. I just. Se me olvidó el mismo nombre de repente. I think I saw someone. But it, but it doesn't matter. Let's catch up with Henry. Hay muchos Easter eggs en la película. Hay un montón. Ay, 
Otra vez se escucha a Sprint Up. Dios. Se ha dado miedo, eh. Es un poco de sustán. Then let's not waste time. We should fix the electricity supply in that room as fast as possible and then leave this place before that thing returns. But if that thing is no longer trying to get to us, that means it's on its way for others. Good call. We should warn them. Vale, va por nosotros, va por el otro grupo. Copy. We will be prepared. Did you manage to fix the electricity problem? I need about five more minutes and then it is done. Copy. We shall meet you near the elevator then. All right. And once again, please be careful there. And the same to you, Eva. Hmm. What if... What if it's a trap? That thing actually didn't go anywhere and it's just waiting for us behind the door. If it is so... Then we will have to fight our way out, as there are no other exits. And considering the fact that this thing already managed to do with the door, we will not be able to hide here for long. Perhaps there's an additional exit. What do you mean? This might work. Help me with the ladder. I'll see what's in there. Just be careful there, Eva. Madre mía, se va a meter donde no me metería yo nunca, ni loco. Ni loco. So, what do you see in there? Hard to tell. It's too dark. I'll try to use the lighter. Oh my god. Oh my god Es que no era buena idea, tío No era buena idea Buah, Ryan, venga, ayuda Ayuda No Se la llevó ¿Por qué no ayudó Ryan? Eva Muerta A little more and done. Se acaba perturbada esta, eh? I know that look, Emma. Guilt haunts you. What's wrong? ¿Qué pasó? We are all in the same boat right now, and the best thing we can do is to cheer one another up. Now, if something worries you, you can share that burden with us, and perhaps we will be able to help you. A ver si lo cuenta. Olivia, that is the name of my Olivia, a su hermana pequeña. Who always liked to be naughty. Several years ago, she went missing in one of the Freddy Fazbear's series. Uh, desapareció también una princesa de Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Due to my inattentiveness, since I, as always. Was so busy in my thoughts about work, tasks. Uy, será una de las. No, no puede ser. Pay attention to anything else around me. Due to that, didn't notice how Olivia. Uno de los animatónicos originales no puede ser, ¿no? Whole town was looking for her. No, porque era chica. Solo. My connections to find her. Even your police lieutenant, Brian Clark, was personally leading the search operations, but with no luck. And then, a year later, they finally found her. Ah, la encontraron. Since then, every day I live with an incredible sense of guilt that I let her down. I also swore that until I am alive, not a single Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria place shall open its doors to any new visitors. For eso tanta venganza. As soon as we get out of here, it shall be like that. 
I'll personally make it happen. Han muerto dos ya. Also make sure that Mr. Afton answers for everything that happened here. You can count on me as well. I'll raise all of my connections. We'll not let this go unanswered. And trust me, Emma, one way or another, justice will prevail. And whoever that person is, whoever caused the evil to your sister, he will pay for what he has done. That I promise. Bueno, ahí para ver un romance, ¿eh? Thank you to both of you. All right, leak is fixed. Now we can ya go no to the elevator. The others are probably waiting for us there. Good then, let's go. Oh oh, ahí está. Ahí está. Chicos, se va a llevar a alguien más. Dios. Es que se lo han memorado, al fin y al cabo. Otra de los susurros. Las voces. Buah, lleva el cuerpo de Eva, eh. That creature sure acted strange. Based on your story, it could have easily killed all of you at once. Yet for some reason, it only took away one of you at a time. Did you manage to figure out why it acted like that? Yes. Emma had a theory about that. She thought that this creature was hunting us, not based on his own will, and ah, that most likely was alguien, no? using him like a trained hunting dog. Claro. The question remained: Who was giving out the orders? Quedan tres minutos para la pausa, chicos, y podemos ir al baño o por algo a descansar un poquito. Estamos a mitad de película, ¿vale? Sadly, no todos nosotros. We know about Ava. How did it happen? That thing. It attacked her from the ventilation shaft. We didn't even manage to do anything. We didn't manage to do anything? Instead of standing huh. still and staring on how Eva was pulled away, you could have helped me. If not for your sí, no nada, ¿eh? we could have saved her. Maybe if you yourself tried harder, then maybe she'd be. That's it. Ay, Dios. Uy, 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 uy. Gentlemen, please save your strength. Let us first get out of here, and then you are free to settle your conflict in any way you find suitable. Sadly, we can't help Ava anymore. But we can still help each other and leave Esta de repente ha pasado a ser buena, o sea, before that monster returns. Doesn't this sound reasonable to you? Emma is right. Let's first leave this place before anyone else is taken away by that monster. Follow me, gentlemen. <coughs> All right, let's go down to our freedom. Bueno, creo que es un momento perfecto para hacer la pausa mientras bajan por el ascensor. Antes de que salgan, ¿vale? Ahora sí que van a la, a la pizzería totalmente. Al piso de abajo. A las zonas conocidas de Sister Location. Oh my god. Pasamos a la segunda parte de la película. Wow. Ahí hay un cadáver. <coughs> Oh, oh. ¡Buah! <risa> no, no va en serio. I hope that everyone survived that fall. Almost. <laughs> uh, 
Madre mía. Ostras. Se le clavó algo a este. Buah. Ese está muerto. No va a sobrevivir el hombre. Venid conmigo, venid. Nene, venid. Ven. Hold on, Henry. We're almost there. Pequeñajo, venid. Thank you, friends. And now the best thing you can do is to find a way out of here and bring help. No need to worry about me. I'll just rest here for a while and gather strength. What? No way! We are not going to leave you here alone. Don't even count on that. I'll stay with you. Thank you for your care. Yo creo que no va a aguantar él, ¿eh? But you understand the same way as I that I don't have much time left. And sadly, I'm <coughs> and sadly, I'm not gonna make oh. it. So the best thing you can do right now is save yourself. Please, I ask you. Let me go away. Va a morir. With the thought that at least you managed to get out of this hell hole. And now, please, go. There's no need for extra words and tears. Oh. Henry, don't you worry. That person who lured us here, I'll do all I can to make him pay for everything. Thank you, and. Now go. Just let me have. Wow, es que cómo vas a sobrevivir a eso sin un médico. <coughs> es imposible. Wow. Hola pequeñajo. Por fin has venido. What are we gonna do now? Let's spread in two teams again and check all the rooms here. There definitely should be an extra exit here. Good idea. I'm definitely not going anywhere with him. Ha, se llevan fatal, eh? with Ryan. Are you sure about that? Don't worry, Fiona. If something happens, I can stand up for myself. All right. Let's not waste any time. Me and Nathan shall check the workshop room, and you can then go check out the control module. Okay. Se separan de nuevo. Ya quedan menos cada vez. El abuelo también ha caído. Y ahí está la máscara de Enard. O que te estás muriendo, creo yo, ¿eh? Ya ves visiones, porque estás muriendo. Por abandonarte. Buah. Sí, estaba delirando ya porque está muriendo. Ahí murió. Oh my god. Otro menos, chicos. ¿Será que consiguen vencerlo? A Sprinta. Oh my god, ahí está.
Mira, está todo como si hubiese encerrado en algún momento Y han puesto como unos... Unos plásticos, unas telas Los bidi -baps. Uy, los bidi -baps. oh my god ¿Será que se mueven? Mira, ese es el PewDiePie PewDiePie Just we don't go there. Maybe dangerous. Poof. You're brave as always, Ryan. Do you have family waiting for you back home? And that's why you avoid all kinds of dangers? So you can return back to them in one piece? I have a wife. I mean, I had a wife. She no is morir. no longer. I'm, I'm sorry. Ostras Funtime Foxy Ay, no, 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 no. El de electrificar Muy raro, ¿eh? ¡Ay, Dios! Ahí está, pinta. Ahí está. Henry. No. Se lleva los cuerpos. ¿Por qué se lleva los cuerpos? O sea, ¿para qué los quiere? It does not matter how ha llegado, ¿eh? Ha bajado. What matters is that we have less than an hour before it comes back for another prey. We need to warn others and find <coughs> exit fast. I think I know how we can stop it. How? Are you thinking about luring this creature into that room? Ah, electrificarlo. Electrocutar a Spindra. No es mala idea. How will we lure it there? I have an idea. A ver, a ver. Disfrazarse o qué? You know, Ryan, it turns out you're not that bad. ¡Ay! ¿Qué? ¡Ostras, qué giro de los acontecimientos! ¿Por qué la golpea? ¡Qué leña, Ryan! ¡Estás cucu! ¡Ostras! Es una táctica para atraerlo, pero. Pero. No lo entiendo. Está loco. Ostras, Ryan. Se te ha ido la cabeza, ¿eh? Inesperadísimo. Es malo entonces. Tiene que ser malo, claro. Tiene que ser parte de, de, de todo esto. O, o la quiere como carnada, sí. Los animatronics fueron creados con el objetivo de kidnapar a los niños y escondiéndolos en sus suites. Damn, ¿qué está pasando en este lugar? Obviamente, nada bueno. Sister Location. Vamos a checar otras rooms. Ahí está el Foxy. El mini Foxy Kawaii. Es la solución a todos los problemas. Baby. Señaló a Baby. Do I imagine things, or is there actually a small animatronic standing in front of us trying to show us something? I've already seen him before. He is the one who warned us about the gas leak. Yo quiero un muñeco así, un animatrónico pequeño, con la cara de Foxy. Pulsar el botón. Are you sure about that? Yes. Huh. This night is only getting weirder. Wow. 
Bueno, una habitación importante. Secreta. Bueno, secreta, había un botón, pero. Medio secreta con una oficina. ¡Ay, baby, 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 baby! ¡Oh, Dios! Finally, you've arrived. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Ahí está. I understand you have a lot of questions. Es la niña, que se ha hecho mayor dentro. They almost managed to gather the needed amount of salt. You have to stop them, and I know how to do that. Hold your horses. Before we do anything, first tell us who or what are you, and what the hell is going on down here. We don't have anything is right. Without answers, we are not going to do anything. Fine. My name was Linda Jones. Linda Jones. A long time ago, I was investigating a case about missing. Oh, suena un poquito de la otra película. Y se ha metido al final ahí. Sí, la película de Vanessa Freyes que vimos hace ya unos meses. Es ella. That is responsible for all the horrors here. Has no limits in its cruelty. Meanness and lies, and all it is interested in is human souls. The souls of the human beings. Several decades already. I don't quite understand. What are we dealing with here? While being heartbroken by the death of his beloved daughter Anna, Joshua Smith decided to take extreme measures and started studying occultism. Wow, estudió el ocultismo, un mal rollo. Invocaciones y cosas así. Para traerla de entre los muertos a su hija. Wow, algo le respondió. Oh my god. Oye, pues tiene bastante sentido, ¿eh? Por lo de la maldad. Yes, those who do not have permanent names. Neither permanent forms oh my can God. only be distinguished by their ojos morados. No permanent form. Correct. They may take the form of any victim whose soul is in their possession. All of this sounds very confusing. One thing can be said for certain about them: they are the personification of pure evil and cruelty. Two brothers whose souls are so dark. That they can overshadow the sun. With lies and deceit, they possessed the mind of poor Joshua, and then started this nightmare. For decades, they used the torture and murder of people in order to imprison their exhausted souls, children especially, as their innocent souls were, for some reason, more valuable to them. Man, man, man. And then all of these souls were trapped inside one of the mysterious chests that they brought with them from Hasta the dead. Almas. What is most terrifying is that those trapped souls never achieve peace. Instead of it, they continue to be endlessly tortured. <laughs> By experiencing their worst nightmares over and over again without cease. Qué horrible. But why are they doing this? That I don't know. It is hard to understand the motives of their actions. Even that animatronic who is pursuing you right now is also a victim of their treacherous plans. He is being manipulated and forced to kill. But truly, that person used to be a good and kind person. Who was only seeking the love and recognition from his stepfather, who used to ignore him for years, and then by deceit sent him to certain death. Let me guess, that stepfather is one of the aforementioned brothers. Yes, his previous name was Fritz Smith. Now he names himself William Afton. Afton. I just Afton. That is what they do in this place. At first, they make you suffer, and then they turn you into their evil puppets. Through all the time that I was here, I only managed to save one soul. But then they spotted me and trapped me here, 
No se puede mover ella, ya se quedó así. Claro, la primera alma fue la niña. Fiona Scott. Ah, Jonathan Smith. Oh, mira, ese es Jonathan Smith. Míralo. El hermano de Mike Smith. And then his soul was trapped in its personal hell. Where as a kid he was locked in his parents' house and used to be attacked by nightmarish looking animatronics who would repeatedly tear him apart niño. over and over again for days, months, years. Through all that time he spent in that hell, sadly most of his personality was lost. And the part that remained stayed on the edge. Ah, como un niño. Claro. Jonathan. Ha ha ha! Como saluda. He still remembers who he used to be and what being a good person means. And that is what is most important. He is willing to help you to put an end to this nightmare. You got your answers. Now, please, I beg you, help me put an end to this evil. Of course. What needs to be done? You need to destroy the vessel where all the souls are stored. By that, ah, in this chest. chest, it is located in a big hidden room in the office of Joshua Smith. The entrance to it you will find behind Anna's picture. Yet, when you get inside, you have to be careful. Since that place is guarded by another animatronic. Otro animatronico, Enard. Seguro, sí. She is another victim of this nightmare. Her name used to be Elsa. Elsa. She was the first one who decided to fight that evil back. Ah, vale. Even after her death, but after decades of desperate struggle, the evil brothers still prevailed and not only took over her soul, but also forced her to follow their commands. De ahí los susurros, chicos. Yet I believe that I might be able to help you with her. I just need to get freed from my imprisonment. How can we help you in that? You need to destroy the body in which I am trapped. The best thing would be to use fire for that, and then you will have to do the same with the chest in which the other souls are trapped. Also, it would be better to completely burn this place down, so that their souls will definitely be able to leave this place and achieve peace. Once and for all. But how would we be able to get out of here? You will find the exit door in the same room where the chest is located. I'll show you the exact place. Don't you worry. I won't allow any more deaths in the walls of this terrible place. Bueno, será que sale bien todo, chicos? But you have to hurry. At any moment, one of the brothers might show up and try to stop you. Si más son dos, eh, no es uno. As I was saying. Ay, mira qué mono. Pasa algo, está, está asustado. ¿Veis? Chicos, no olvidéis tocar el like. En un momentito le dais a like al directo, ¿vale? Gracias. Fiona, wait. Good luck. Hay un poco de ah, la chispa del amor, ¿eh? Quítate las gafas, que te vea los ojos. Bueno, seguimos con con Brian, Ryan era, ¿no? Ryan que ha hecho ahí una cosa malévola. Tenemos un cupcake. No la mató, ¿eh? La dejó ahí. Sí, la, la han pasado al otro lado. Ah, va a electrocutar a los dos. Ahí está. 
¿Va a ser en serio? No parece muy bueno, ¿eh? Madre mía. Ahí está. Emma. No por mucho tiempo, ¿eh? Stay clear. A ver. Ups, no se puede romper. O sea, prueba de balas. Va a morir. ¿Por qué, Ryan? ¿Por qué? ¡Electrocútalo! Buah. Fiona, I know my request might seem hard to you, but please fulfill it on the panel. Sí, me ha dado que a los dos, claro. Es la única forma. No tiene miedo, ¿eh? Oh, oh. Ahora dale. Dale. Púlsale. Vamos, Fiona. Dale. Al menos Sprintan morirá, ¿no? Del todo. Ah, se fue la luz. Se fue la luz. Qué chulísima la película, ¿eh? Mola mucho, mucho. Emma también ha muerto. Mira qué carilla pone. Bueno, sabemos que no muere ella, porque está en el hospital contando la historia, pero... Uf. Puede que Ryan y el de las gafas también mueran, ¿eh? Ahí está, el maldito. ¿Qué te pasa, tío? Tío, ¿quién eres? It had to be done. I do not expect you to understand me, but believe me, I had no choice. I had to do it. The reasons why I do this are more important than even principles of morality. And what now? Now. I'll have to kill you. En serio? Foxy. There's still an alternative way out of this situation. We have found another exit from this pizzeria. You can come with us. I can't leave this place without her. Ahí va. Sí, señor. Aprovecha Fiona, Fiona, corre. Fiona, ayuda a Foxy. Sí. ¡Eh! ¡Ostras! No había, otra, no había otra opción No había otra opción, chicos Nos quería matar Bueno, nos quería matar Yo ya me siento como si fuese ella <coughs> ¡Buena, Foxito! I'm sorry. I really am. 
All I wanted was to return her back. That's why I made this. ¿Y por qué tienes que matar a todo el mundo? I should have figured out. But it was all just a lie. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Afton asked me to make sure that none of you would make it out of here. Ah, el trato era que él matase a todos. Stupid I was. Que nadie saliese vivo. Hay alguien más. I honestly didn't want anything of this. All I wanted was just to see her again. Para ver a su esposa. Claro, cada uno tiene sus motivos. Ryan también. Good news. I damaged several gas pipes, so it should be sufficient to. Bah. What happened here? Where's Emma? Bah. Joshua Smith office. <coughs> Mira, Fox está bien, ¿eh? Pero bueno, cada vez somos menos. Really feel sorry for you and your friends, but did you manage to find that secret room? Yes. As soon as I told Nathan about Emma and Ryan's fate, we straight away went to that hidden room. But what we found inside of it, nothing could have prepared us for that horror that we faced in there. Nene, lucky. Llegamos a la fase final, chicos, de la película. Nos están todo el purgatorio de animatrónicos destrozados. ¡Ay! Es muy kawaii, lo quiero. Ahí están los bichos estos, ¿eh? Ven, 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 sube. Ven, papá, ¿eh? Ven, ven, ven. Oh, oh, ahí está. La antigua Puppet, que ahora se ha convertido en peligrosa. Y el cofre, por supuesto. ¡Ay, Dios! ¡Madre mía! ¡Menudos dos golpes! Ups. Ay, pobrecito, le quiere pegar, pero no tiene fuerza. Mini Foxy. Dispárale. Ay, no. Es como un árbol. A ver si se acuerda de ella. A ver si la puede calmar como aquella vez en la primera película. Que la calmó ella. Oh, llora Elsa. Fue la primera niña asesinada, eh, por el hombre morado. No, no lo he hecho tan bien, Kyle. Ven, nene. También le da pena a Kyle. Le hace miau. Ven, nene, ven. Es mi chico. Sacó su alma, bien.
Hay que seguir, hay que quemarlo todo. Oh my god, ahí está el cuerpo. Van a quemarlo todo, chicos. As soon as you destroy the chest in this place, we shall be free as well. It is all done. We can claro, set this place on fire. Al cabo. Well, who wants to start the fire? Ay, Dios. Puppet? Qué mal rollo, da miedo. Eso no me gusta, eh. Somos 16.000 personas viendo esta peli en directo, chicos, viéndola terminar. Muchísimas gracias a todos, de verdad. No olvidéis suscribiros para no perderos ningún vídeo. Y tocar el like del Direct Town. Bravo, bravo. Oh, oh. Ahí está. El que los llamó por teléfono, claro. I even see you managed to join your forces with Linda and Elsa. That is impressive. Elsa and Linda, you have no idea how happy I am to see you again. Brian. Oh, I see you were able to recognize me in this form. Impressive. Well, in this case, let's show you a familiar face. Not sure if you know this, but Elsa was the first soul that decided to rebel and fight us back. She also managed to unite others, and for years they actively tried to stop us. Los originales, los primeros animatrónicos. Same can be told about you, Linda, as well, by the way. And that is admirable. But ladies, you had your fun. Now it is time for you to return back to your friends. Ostras. Los metieron dentro del cofre. O sea, hemos liberado las almas para nada. Kid souls. They were always ten times more valuable than adult ones. A los niños valen más, ¿no? Fuss with them. What have you done with them? I returned them back to the place from which they impertinently managed to escape. Their souls belong to me anyway. On your place, I wouldn't rush to burn this place down. You see, all those souls that are locked in that chest, they have nothing to pierde, no? left in them. Now there is only desire to make others feel the same pain and suffering as they felt. And if you set them free, well, Ooh. nothing good comes out of that. Una maldición, Not for una caja de Pandora. Or else, but especially for you, as most likely you would be torn apart instantly. So instead of that. Let's make a deal. Toma trato. Me parece a mí que no no puedo morir. ¿eh? Good try, but Ostras. Es un demonio, tío. What are you? I'm afraid your human brain will not be able to understand that. Let's just say, a long time ago, Joshua Smith summoned us. In the hope that we would return him his daughter, that fool thought that he could ask something from us, but he was wrong, as we were not genies from a magic lamp that would grant three wishes. Oh no, we do not give; we only take away. But it seems that that fact was not mentioned in those books that Joshua used to summon us. And where is your brother now? Sadly, William is occupied with other tasks right now, as you might have guessed. We gather souls from many places, and your souls are supposed to be the last ones. But he is the one who 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 
¡Vamos! No, 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 no. El de las gafas. Wow. Está aquí mi gatito, ay mi caer, es un llorón. All right then, I think it is time to show you what you are really doing. Dios. Es como un monstruo gigante. Un demonio, es un demonio. Dios. No se hace algo, Foxy. Lo va a quemar todo. Sí, el mini Foxy. El mini Foxy es la clave. Es la clave, chicos. Oh, se va a sacrificar. Se quema él para que se queme todo. Ahí van las almas. Él tiene miedo de que salga las armas por algo será. Porque van a ir a por él. Buah, se meten en los animatrónicos. Bien, Foxy. Sigue vivo, Nathan. Ahora todos irán a por él, ¿no? Digo yo. La venganza de los animatrónicos. Wow. Vamos a por él. Eso no lo puede aguantar. Suppose you are wondering, how do I know the structure of this place so good? Truth is, I was among those people who built it. Well, the original version of this place. As I told you before, Joshua Smith was a good friend of mine. And when he asked me to help him with the realization of his dream, I straight away agreed to do it. And that dream was to build the best pizza attraction in town to his beloved daughter, Anna. Al final, tanto odio lo hizo... Buah, liarla pardísima, ¿eh? Bueno, pues ha sobrevivido de las gafas, ¿eh? Aquí hay una relación, seguro. O oh, si peo, si peo. It's 
over. They're finally free. Ya están las almas, supongo que ya descansarán para siempre. Ah, están todos. Mira con su mujer. Y los originales, ¿no? Los niños. Su amigo. Que era el mini Foxy, era este. Jonathan. Jonathan. Mike Smith. Es el otro. Creo. Oh. Por fin. Todos son libres. Es un final feliz. Bien. <ríe> Qué chulo. I can't believe it's over. We made it. How are you holding out there? I'll be fine. Just need to rest a little bit. <laughs> Qué chulo, eh? Never in my life have I seen such a big and beautiful fire. <laughs> it sure is beautiful. Bueno. Wow, pues peliculaza, eh? Muy chula. Muy muy chula. Yo creo que mejor incluso que la, la primera, eh? That's the whole story. Hope you'll print this word by word. Quién es este? Of course. But I have one question. Ay Dios. There used to be a second brother that Ay Dios, es el hermano. To say William Afton. Es William. What happened to him? Es él. Es William. I'll find him and put an end to his crimes. Ay, lo mata. Ay, as far William as I understood, he can change his faces and appearances. Ay, Dios. It doesn't matter how, but I shall not rest. No, 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 no. That's good to hear. Es un final malo. I don't have to search for him. As the person you are looking for. Ah. I have to thank you, Fiona. As now I know what really happened that night. And believe me. Oh, Dios. You know, due to your actions, Fiona, not only my brother is now locked down in a very horrible place, but also my superiors are now very unhappy with the results of our work. And I'll have to work very, very hard to fix that. Which means I'll need souls. Oh. More souls. I try to guess. Ostras, tío. Next is a completely different story, which shall be told to you next time. Since la otra película, ¿no? Pizzeria still has many mysteries hidden in it. Wow. Until William Afton is out there, this nightmare is far from its end. Claro, mientras esté él. Wow. But fear not, dear viewer. There will be those who will fight him back. Eran dos hermanos, chicos. Will they succeed, though? Well, as it was told before, that is a story for the next time. Madre mía. Buenísima, chicos. Bueno, si os ha gustado, os he dejado arriba en la descripción del canal de Second Floor Studios, creadores de creadores de esta película, de esta peliculaza. Y muy buena, eh, muy muy buena Final Inesperado creo yo Yo me lo esperaba al menos Sí señor <ríe> Muy buena chicos Listo Pues vamos a ir ahora Voy a poner todo como estaba Hacer el chat privado para patrocinadores 
Hacer los saluditos a la gente que ha cambiado el Super Chats y, y que ha llegado nueva de patrocinio Dejar los audios bien Y acabar este video tan tan épico Con la película de Sister Location Que está increíble, muy muy buena Me ha encantado, eh 